the five worst countries in the world for vegetarians. Some argue that we, vegetarian travelers, lose on significant cultural opportunities by often refusing to eat the traditional foods of the countries we are visiting. Others go as far as calling us bad travelers for not blending in and risking to offend locals by being finicky. As if pleasing others was more important than sticking to deep-rooted beliefs. As if we made the decision to be vegetarians out of sheer arrogance and petulance. The following list is not intended to act as a deterrent for vegetarians, it is meant to bring awareness and preparedness to those who are not ready to compromise on their ethics, but still wish to experience what these countries have to offer. 5. Cuba Travelers to Cuba are unanimous, vegetarian options are rare and the ones available lack in variety and flavors. Cubans seem to live on fried rice and meat, ham sandwiches, and hot dogs. Buying fresh seasonal fruit and vegetables from street vendors and other vegetarian products from markets and grocery stores is an easy task, but that means you'll have to prepare it yourself and CASA particulars, private houses where you can rent rooms, don't usually allow their guests to use the kitchen. Happy Cow only lists five vegetarian restaurant options on the island, so if you really want to eat out, you'll likely have to make do with beans and rice, and rum and coffee, of course. 4. Spain Spanish cuisine presents a serious challenge even to the craftiest vegetarians. A quick look at one of Spain's most famous dishes, paella, will give you an idea of the struggle to be expected, cured pork, chicken and or rabbit in one large pan. The Spanish are diehard meat eaters and even when you think that you've ordered what seemed like an innocuous vegetarian dish, you might end up with a lovely salad covered with tuna or a bocadillo vegetal with a slice of ham in it. Although it might be time-consuming, the best way to avoid having to pick away the dead animals from your place is to ask for the ingredients before ordering, quales son le ingredientes en es plato? Do not despair, tortilla de patatas makes an excellent meal and croquetas de espinacas, patatas bravas, and gazpacho are easily found and delicious tapa options. 3. Japan You might think that a bowl of ramen noodles or miso soup would be the perfect vegetarian meal, but every traditional Japanese broth and seasoning is fish-based, even the soya sauce. Also the ubiquitous avocado roll, the go-to dish for any sushi-loving vegetarian, despite being invented by a Japanese chef in the US, is nowhere to be found in the country. One important part of traveling as a vegetarian in Japan is to learn a few key words to express the fact that you cannot consume fish, watashi wa vegetarian dayu. Although it is difficult, it is not impossible and when in the countryside look for temples serving shojin ryori, Buddhist vegetarian cuisine. To Argentina. Although Argentina is only the 17th highest meat consumer in the world, out of 177 countries, with 91.7 kilograms of meat per person per year, most of Argentinian cuisine centers around La Perilla, and the different cuts of meat grilled over the fire. Buenos Aires may have plenty of vegetarian options, but the rest of the country does not follow suit and the words soy vegetariana slash o will certainly bring concerned comments about your health. Basically you have to just fill up on media lunas, empanadas de queso, umidas, and, last but not least, spoonfuls of dulce de leche, do it, when you're out of the city. 1. France You can trust me on that one, I've got years of experience to prove my point. Eating out as a vegetarian in France is an ordeal. There is likely only one suitable option for you on the menu of any given restaurant in France and I bet you it's a goat cheese salad, vegans don't stand a chance over there. In large cities such as Paris and Lyon you won't have too much trouble to find a veggie spot, but most of France is sadly not adapting fast to the rising number of vegetarians. Meat consumption has dropped 15% in France between 2003 and 2010. Make sure to check out Happy Cow before heading out for a meal or you might just not be able to feed on anything else but bread, wine, and dessert, which, when you think about it, will provide you with a genuine French experience and taste pretty darn good. I'm sure many extroverts like me would agree that one of the things we miss most about traveling pre-pandemic is meeting new people. So, which of these extroverted countries are you looking forward to visiting soon? Or are there others that you think we should add here as well? Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please do like the video and subscribe the channel.